Hello everybody, in this section we are going to talk about data frame and data packets in the network. So let's dive in. So let's talk about what is the data itself is and what is the data frame and data packets and we are going to discuss just in a second. So before talking about the data, we need to analyze what is the network itself because our data is, is going to be transferred from one computer to another computer. So let's just uh, talk about what is the network. So basically the network is the connection between at least two computers. So right now uh, on the diagram, you see that I have a device A and I have a device B and they have a connection between each other. So right now we have a very simple network done. So if you look a little bit in more complicated networks right now, I have more than two computers and they are all connected to the central point here. So this central point can be switch, it can be hub, or it can be uh, access point, or whatever is that. So let's imagine that this is my computer A, and that wants to make a communication to the computer B, and that is going to send a file or send the data to the uh, to the switch, and the switch is going to forward to the B. And inverse, if the B wants to send another package, so the B is going to send to the switch, and the switch is going to forward that to the A. So that is how the network is working. So uh, imagine that we have another two computers here. So let me call it computer X and computer Y. So if they want to talk to each other and by saying to talk to each other, whenever they want to send a file from one computer to another computer, then they need to use the central point. So the X, uh, it must send uh, the file to the uh, to the central point and the central point is going to forward to the Y. So they cannot communicate that, that way, straight like uh, directly to each other because there is no any communication in between. So the, the only way they have, they need to talk uh, through, through the center point. If you bring this network just a little bit more complicated, so let me just go ahead and I will explain that. So right now I see one network over here and all of them are connected to the one switch. And we have another devices. So you see right now we have a couple devices over here and they are all connected to another switch. So basically if this computer, let me call it this computer A, wants to talk this to this computer which is B, um, it must send the data to the switch and the switch is going to forward that to the another switch and this switch is going to send the, the packet to the to the B. So this is how the network is working and the data, uh, data flow. So in this session, we are going to talk about the basic network, how we can send a data from one location to another location using one center point only. And let's see how it looks like. So data frame and data packets. So right now, uh, what we are going to do is imagine that I want to send a package from the computer A to the computer B. And by saying package, by saying uh, data, uh, data, so you can just imagine that is a piece of picture or that is a, just a document or it's a movie. So whatever you want to send. So my goal is to send a file from one device to another device. Okay, and uh, the picture, the, the, the box you see over here, let's imagine that is my data. And do not forget that whenever we talk about data, just imagine that is a picture. So since this picture is a little big, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split in the small pieces. And with these pieces, we call it packets. So right now I have one packet, I had two packets and so on and so on and so on. And right now I have eight packets. So let me call it, that is a packet one, that is a packet two, three, and so on and so on, all the way to the eight. So right now, the number one is, we are going to take this small piece and we are going to send to the switch and the switch is going to forward to the B. And the B is going to respond us. So that uh, is going to send a notification that the first packet was received. And whenever the A will receive that notification, the A is going to take the second packet and send it over to the B. And the B is going to send the notification again. So that is the double, uh, double flow. Uh, the downside of these, uh, this structure is, so we are getting uh, our network a little busy because it's a, it's a two-way communication. Okay, so let's imagine right now I'm going to send the packet three. So the packet three was sent to the B. 
uh, through, the, through the my center point, uh, let me call it switch. And what if the B is not going to send the respond? So that means the B didn't receive the package. So uh, the the A is still waiting for the for the respond. If the respond it didn't come on the time, so what is the A is going to do is it is going to resend the sec uh, the the packet number three. So that is going to be sent. And if that is going to send the back notification, that it uh, will be moved to the four. If the notification was not received for a couple time so uh, we will see the uh, message saying the error so my path uh, so my data I'm looking at my file was not sent to another location perfect so this is how it works so right now as we discussed it before guys you see right now I have my file which is huge file and I just split them all of them in a small packets so let's go ahead and analyze what we have in that small packet so what kind of information what kind of data I have in that small piece here so right now you see we just analyzing that small piece so we have a lot of information inside so what is the source ip so from who is going so what is the destination ip so where it is going to be uh delivered what is the source mac and what is the destination mat and what is the protocol what is the port is and what is the data itself so as you see in the structure over here so we are still talking about that small piece that you see over here you see guys, so right now we have a Mac, we have uh, some IP information, we have some TCP, it's the same with the port information and we have a data itself and we have something else over here. So we will not discuss about what is that else is because uh, we are not going to that much in deep in the network. So, but just keep in mind that guys, we have... so. Let me just get my pen. I will explain that. So the pure data is here. So that must be delivered to another side. And we need other information too. So who is sending and to whom it is going to be sent? Because uh, do you remember that right now I have my computer A and my, I have my computer B. So whenever I send my package, so this guy, it needs to know from whom it's coming. And whenever it's sent, it should be knowing uh, to whom it's going to be delivered. So we need to have the source IP and the source MAC. And we need to have the destination IP and destination MAC as well. So let's go ahead and talk about a little bit in Mac. Uh, Mac, we already discussed it in our previous sections, but I will just make it a very fast overview. So actually, the Mac is a physical address of that device. So every single device, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a PC or it's a laptop or it's a tablet, it's a smartphone or it's a smartwatch. So whatever it is. So as long as our uh, device is connected to the network, we have a physical. A physical device so right now uh, that is one of the samples you see uh, guys uh, right now I have my Ethernet port over here and we have address of that device only and let's see uh, how we can identify so right now we have a couple digits over here and uh, as we discussed it before uh, you see guys so this device has a name so that has a Mac, a Mac address so right now we have a couple numbers here so the first, so this section is uh, showing us, it shows the digits or it shows the numbers, uh, what company uh, produced that. So it may be Intel or it may be, it may be any other comp company. And a lo last digits is showing that is what is the network interf interface controller. So every single device right now, they have a unique number. So you cannot say that I have a device A and device B. So this device is located somewhere in one country and that device can be located somewhere in the other countries, guys. They have a unique address. So that is the MAC address. So, and one more time, guys, you see uh, right now I have my MAC address and I have my IP and right now I have a data. So right now that is illustration that is going to show us uh, the difference between IP and the MAC address. Imagine that you want to send uh, this envelope to the person. So right now we have a two information. The first one is uh, what is the name of the receiver and what is the address of the, of the receiver. So uh, wh where it is located. 
So basically, whenever you see the address, that is the unique address. That is a physical address. Imagine that is the house or that is apartments or whatever is that. And it shows that where it is located in the world. You see, it's never changed. The only thing what can be changed, this name can be changed. Maybe this uh, person is going to move out and another person will come here. So the name can be changed too. So basically, if we compare that with, uh, with the network, so what we can say that this is my MAC address and this is my IP address. You see, so the IP, it can be changed because it, it is going to be assigned by the system, by the network. And Mac is coming as a default because that is the unique address. So right now we have a very basic network and let's see what is going on here. So right now I have my switch which is right in the center and I have a four different devices plus I have my router here. So... Uh, every single device, it has a MAC address and has an IP address. But the, uh, the only thing, guys, you see right now, it says the MAC is B. But usually the MAC, uh, MAC addresses are looks like a little bit different uh, in a different way. And imagine that right now, uh, the com uh, this computer C wants to send a file to the computer D. So basically the file, it looks like we have a huge file over here and that is going to split it in small uh, pieces. Uh, we call it packets and this packet is going to be sent to the this line. It is going to send to the switch and the switch is going to forward to the D. And whenever D receives that message, it sends back that I received that message and it comes to the A. So uh, actually to the C and the C is going to second the, the second one. So perfect. So what we need to do in order to send this packet. So what we need to do is we need to know what is the destination IP. So who is going to receive it? So I need to know what is the IP of the receiver. And also I need to know what is the MAC address of the receiver. If I, do, if I don't have this information, I will be confused. So right now uh, the C is going to send to the, to the switch and the switch doesn't know uh, to whom it to, deli to deliver that. So that's why we are going to use the ARP uh, uh, cache. So uh, let's see what is the ARP stands for. The ARP is Address Resolution Protocol. So basically, uh, what is the R, uh, what is the duty of ARP is every single device. So uh, they have a kind of logs. They have a file. Imagine that that is a has a file. This computer has a file. This computer has a file, and this computer has a file. As soon as they just turn it on, or as soon as they plug it into that switch, they are going to share uh, the information to each other. So right now, the C is going to have this table. So for example, we have I and we have our MAC addresses. So right now it says the IPY belongs to the MAC B. You see, we have IPY and uh, to the B. And also Z and A. Uh, right now, you see guys, I have a Z and A over here. But what if this computer wants to send information here? But uh, you see guys right now, uh, this cache, which is ERP uh, cache, it doesn't have that information, which is a D and V and how it's going to work. So here's the, another in illustration. Right now, uh, my computer C, my server C is br broadcasting. It says that, uh, it says that I want to send a message to the uh, W, so IPW, but it says that I don't know what is the MAC address of that. That is going to send a message to the switch and the switch is going to distribute to everybody. So all the, every, single, uh, every single device in that network is going to receive that one, you see? And r later on, this device will tell that I, have, I am IPW and my MAC address is a D. You see, so uh, basically uh, the, this computer just sent a message to everybody asking that I'm looking for the MAC address who has the WIP and that is, going, uh, that is responding because whenever a message goes here, it doesn't have that the WIP, so it is going to ignore that message and also this machine is going to ignore that one because they don't have anything to respond. The only machine that is going to respond is D. So whenever it, this computer sends back that my MAC address is D, so what it is going to do is, you see guys, so right now this computer, which is C, is going to add uh, to the, to, 
uh, to the report so right now you see guys let me just go back a little bit in the beginning we didn't have that information here it was missing and right now we have that information so right now uh, after this point after this point if this computer wants to send a message to to that computer it that uh, it will not look for the mac address because it already knows the mac address and then that is going to send a message here and the message will be delivered here and there is also a second way to make it. Uh, so imagine that right now, whenever we turn on the switch or whenever we turn on the computer right now. So uh, imagine that computer is uh, new to the network. So whenever this computer will be plugged into that switch, it is going to give the information as a default. You see? So right now I have a Mac E and I have an IP uh, V and... Uh, this computer has a cache this computer has ar oops let me just get one more time so this computer has a cache like arp cache and this computer has arp cache this computer has a arp cache but uh, the information like uh, the the mac e and v it was not saved here you see so right now it was plugged to the switch in the first time and this information will go to all servers right now and they will add uh they will add that information so let me just go ahead and show it here you see so even if this computer didn't request so this computer didn't ask who has the ipv and mac e this mac just sent the information to everybody so uh, the uh, that is going to be saved over here so right now using that this second method every single device uh, has arp cache and that information is uh, saved to the arp cache